I'm Miranda Yim from uh, Canada, London, Ontario, Canada. Went to Pepperdine University, and now I'm here in Tulsa. Okay, nice to meet you, Miranda. Talk a little bit about the difference between the colleges. Both of them. Well, I had the opportunity to uh, have a year overseas before I came to Tulsa to WNBA, so I took that really as a learning experience, as a little baby step, half step in between college and uh, WNBA. So it helped me develop as a player and as a person, and it really gave me the experience I needed to bring into this camp. Now, you're new to Tulsa, but what's one of your fondest memories so far since you've been here? In Tulsa? Mm -hmm. Um, just getting to know the players. This team is really uh, welcoming and it's a good group of girls, so I'm, I'm really enjoying getting together with the girls. What are your expectations heading into this season? Well, we're expecting to work hard. Um, as I said, this team is a good group of girls and there's no uh, egos that you have to deal with, so we're just looking forward to working hard as a team, getting it done and getting some more wins. Jen Lacey, also a Pepperdine player, is on this roster. What's it like having a fellow Pepperdine player on the roster with you right now? It's great. Uh, we didn't play at the same time. She's a, a few years older than me, but uh, I had met her a few times uh, previously and played with her. And uh, obviously, her name is well known at our, our school, so um, it's great to play with her and have Pepperdine represented in the WNBA. Okay, pick a teammate, coach, or staffer. Who would you most like to go shopping with? Shopping with? Uh, I'm going to pick my, my roommate, Italy, because she's just a fun person to be around, and I know she loves clothes and shopping and whatnot. Who would you want to make you dinner? I heard that Chast Chastity Reed is really good at uh, cooking some good home dishes, so I want to try that out. Who would you pick to be stranded on a desert island with? Um, <laughs> maybe uh, Tiffany Jackson. I'll choose because I don't know her too well yet. But she seems like a really cool person, and then a lot of alone time would get, give us a good chance to get to know each other on the island. Who should have the ball in their hands for the last shot? I don't know if I know the clutch players too much yet, but uh, I'm going to go with uh, the more experienced veterans, so maybe uh, Betty Lennox or Cheryl Swoops. Okay, same thing. Who, who would you want at the free throw line? Probably around the same thing. <laughs> who is the most underrated? Uh, no, can I say myself coming in? <laughs> Come in? I'll say that to get a little plug, so because we still need to make the team. Underrated. <laughs> if you weren't playing basketball, what would you be doing? She, she can make up. Um, maybe something with music. I love music. I love uh, all the, everything that goes into it. So. And who are you rooting for in the NBA playoffs? Oklahoma. <laughs> Probably because I'm here now, but I really I do like Oklahoma. All right.